Hello, I am Dr. Tanushri Mukherjee. I am working as a full-time neonatologist and pediatrician in Cloud9 Malad. The symptoms of neural tube defects depend on the severity of the disease. If my baby is having anencephaly, most of the time the baby is not born uh, alive. So the, those are the very severe form of neural tube defect. But luckily what we most of the time see is spina bifida. So in spina bifida, there is a defect in the vertebral column and along, uh, depending on the level of the defect, the baby will present with multiple symptoms. It can be paralysis of the lower limbs, it can be paralysis of the whole upper limb and lower limb. Because it's affecting the nerve tissue, the baby can have some urinary complaint, stool retention or incontinence of the stool. If the lesion is higher up, that can lead to deafness, blindness as well as some developmental delay. And the, uh, sometimes spinal bifida patients also can have lots of urine tract infection. Because of the urinary incontinence, they can have multiple urinary tract infection and that can lead to damage of the kidneys.